season na naman ng mga college entrance exams. Patanong ko lang, nakakapili ka na ba ng course ang kukulin mo? Kung gayon, isa rin ba sa mga course mo ang BS Statistics? At medyo hindi mo pa alam kung ano talaga ang course nito. If that's the case, you're on the right video. Hello guys! So, it's me again, your friend Rochelle, and I'm back again with another video. And for this video, I'm gonna share to you guys basically what is statistics as a course. So, this video is requested by one of the commenters on my previous video, which is, I'm going to link it down below the description box. And, yeah. As what I've said, this video will be about what is statistics as a course. So just a little disclaimer, I'm not a statistics or a statistician or nor a statistics practitioner, but I'm a statistics student. So I'm quite confident of what I'm going to say to you guys since I have also searched up on some resources. I search up on the internet about what is statistics, what are the job opportunities as a statistics student, or what the subject what are the subjects that you're gonna take based on my own experience and on my own school. So yeah. So that is a preview of what I'm going to discuss for this video. So I hope you guys watch until the end and don't forget to like and subscribe on this channel. So without any further ado, let's get to the video. So for this video, um, there will be five sections of this video which are the following. For the first part which is, I will tell you guys what is statistics or like the definition or general gist of what is statistics. Second, who can apply for this kind of degree? Third, what schools offers this course in here in the Philippines? Fourth, how to apply to this course? And fifth, the career opportunities if you are a BS Statistics graduate. So for the first section, what is statistics? So, according to what I have learned in one of our modules or lessons in one of my subjects in statistics, as, a, as a statistics student is that statistics is the scientific application of the mathematical principles in order to to the collection, analysis, and presentation of numerical data. And second, it describes a set of tools or techniques in order to describe, collect, and interpret data. So basically, what is statistics? Statistics is, or in other words, statistics is the study of collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. So we use mathematical approaches in order to like sort of put into simpler words the different data that we collect in order yes so what are the major subjects or the minor subjects as a statistic student so first, the major subjects are pre-calculus, calculus, descriptive statistics, computer programming, and statistics, which is stuck, which is tackling about logic. So these subjects that I have mentioned are the subjects that I have took last sem or for the first sem, since we are on the second sem now as a first year student, and yeah. Those that I have mentioned are the subjects that I have already took, and some are what I am taking right now for my second semester. So for the minor subjects, we have actually, for the minor subjects, as a first-year student, we are also taking up 
other subjects like science or history or Wicca and other minor subjects like PE or NSTB which are also required even though they are not part of our GWA they are still required to be taken up so yeah those are some of the minor subjects that I took last sem and some this sem so second who can apply for this kind of degree so actually anyone can apply on this degree especially in up since it is a non-quota course which means that there is no limit in the acceptance of students in this course so as a student of university of the philippines um the course bs statistics is actually a non-quota course meaning that there is no limit to the number of students that can enter that kind of degree of program. So third part is what schools offer this course in the Philippines? So as far as I know, UP Visayas, UP Diliman, UP Los Banos offer this course in the UP system. But based on my research on the internet, um, specifically in the website finduniversity.ph, there are outside of the UP system, um, the schools that offer this kind of degree program are Polytechnic University of the Philippines, the La Salle Universe, and the La Salle, Universe, the La Salle University. I'm so sorry for the way I speak. So, so again, what I'm saying is that PUP and the LSU also offer this kind of degree program, which is the BS Statistics. I have not well researched if this is true. So sometimes you have to take it as a grain of salt because, or you also do your research so that when I am wrong, so you can correct me if I'm wrong, okay? But that is what I have found on one of the websites in Google, which is the finduniversity.ph. So for the fourth part, how to apply to this course. So just like in a normal college application, one can apply to this course by looking out for CETs or college entrance tests and choosing this course, especially if you are really inclined to this kind of course, specifically the best statistics course. So just a tip, if you are really into math subjects, then you'll surely like this course. But if you're like me who doesn't have that much interest in math and just out of nowhere, <laughs> fill out the application form and choose um, statistics as your third choice like me without knowing that there will be more math than you have expected so I think you better rethink your decisions but yeah actually there are some part of me that um kind of regret why I chose statistics as a course but as of today there are also there is also a part of me that value being a, as a statistics student because I learned the value of like learned the value of the the value of importance of the credibility of a data because in the age of information and technology we are living in right now there are there are many data data or information that are circulating which are actually making us misinformed or disinformed so i have really found a reason why i must continue study statistics because of the importance of a credible source or data because one of the works or responsibilities of a statistician is to determine or the, the, the 
credibility of a data or information. So I think choosing a course like statistics is such a big help in the community sooner or later. So I kind of disagree with what I've written here because actually I've written this script um, pre-election days since actually today is like the post-election days because yesterday we had a, an election here in the Philippines and the results are kind of sus. So God bless Philippines. <laughs> so basically what I just wanted to say is if you really want to apply to this course, you can just search up on the different sites of the school that you are interested interested to go into, then search up if there is a degree program in statistics. So if there is available, so why not you try um, applying for that degree program? So last but not least, the career opportunities. So the nature of the jobs are solving problems in a wide variety of fields and apply mathematical, statistical, and apply mathematical and statistical knowledge to social economic problems. And some of the fields which use statistics are agriculture, business, industry, computer science, health sciences, government, private sectors, etc. So one of, of the lessons that I have learned in one of my subjects in my first sem as a statistics major is that actually there there are many you could apply any jobs in any sectors in the in the uh, no in the job field. I mean actually there are many sectors like the health sector government sec sector the even in the engineering sectors you could as you could apply a as a bs statistics graduate so i think it really is a flexible degree program because you could apply in any where so very short and some of the job roles that are expected uh, to you as a BS statistics student is that you could be a statistician lecturer or professor content anal analyst statistic trainer data scientist consultant and biostatistician so those are some of the possible jobs you could have in the outside world so that is it for this video i hope you like this video or if you have any questions go go comment it down below the comment section or if i said anything that is not true or or not correct you feel free to correct me on the comment section below and of course and give me the source says to prove that you are really right and i'm wrong so that it'll be a credible one so that is it for this video guys i hope you like this video and go don't forget to subscribe on this channel Bye.